In this lesson, we'll be looking at what problems that lead to a system of linear inequalities. Our objectives in this lesson would be to review interpretation of keywords used in what problems. We're also going to look at the steps for creating a system of inequalities from a word problem. And then we're going to walk through some examples. Keywords that are most often used in what problems that lead to system of inequalities? This, there, are mo there are four of them. The first one is at least, which means it would be greater than or equal to a specific value. No more than or at most simply means it will be less than or equal to a certain value. When we say more than, it must be greater than the value. When we say less than, it must be less than the value. Now let's look at the steps for creating a system of inequalities from a word problem. The first thing you want to do is to read through the, the word problem and then highlight important information including the inequality keywords. The next thing is to identify variables and then we create the first inequality from the word problem and you create the second inequality and in some cases you may have more than two, but here we'll focus on inequality, what problems that only have two inequalities in the system. Now let's get started with an example. This example reads that Jonah is going to the store to buy candles. Small candles cost $3.50 and large candles cost $5. He needs to buy at least 20 candles and he can spend no more than $80. So let's take a look at the important keywords. So we have small candles here, and we have large candles. Now let's look for the keywords. We have at least, and then we have no more than. So we're going to identify variables. We're going to make small candles X. So let's put that here. X represents small candles and Y represents large candles. Okay. So small candles cost $3.50. So we have $3.50 times X for the cost of small candles. And we have large candles cost $5. So we have 5Y for the cost of large candles. So what we're told here is that he needs to buy at least 20 candles. So that means that we have to have the sum of all the candles should be greater than or equal to 20. So we have X plus y is greater than or equal to 20. That's one inequality. And we're told that he can spend no more than $80. So that also means that $3.50x plus 5y must be less than or equal to 80. So this is the system that results from this word problems this word problems second example john is doing a fundraiser for a school he needs to sell at least 200 dollars worth of items shirts cost 10 dollars each and hats cost 8 dollars each he must sell no he must sell more than 12 hats so the first thing we're going to do is to identify important terms here. We have at least here and we have more than. So those are our inequalities here and we're looking at shirts and hats. Okay, so our variables are shirts and hats. So let's say shirts will be represented by S and hats will be represented by H. Now we're told that shirts cost $10 each, so the cost of all shirts will be 10S, 
and hats cost eight dollars each so the cost of all the hats will be eight each now we're told that he needs to sell at least two hundred dollars worth of items so that means that 10s plus 8h at least $200 worth so must be greater than or equal to 200 and the second sentence here tells us that he must sell more than 12 hats so h must be greater than so this is a system that results from the word problem final example Sam is going to the store to buy pumpkins small pumpkins cost eight two dollar fifty cents and large pumpkins cost six dollars he needs to buy at least 20 pumpkins and he can spend no more than ninety dollars so we look at small pumpkins we make that X and large pumpkins we make that Y so the total cost of the small pumpkins will be $2.50 multiplied by X and the total cost of the large pumpkins will be $6 multiplied by Y so let's pay attention to the important inequalities here it says it needs to buy at least 20 pumpkins so that means you have 20 pumpkins or more and they can spend no more than ninety dollars so that means you have to have it less than or equal to ninety so the first thing we want to do is find out how many pumpkin how many pumpkins he's allowed to buy so x plus y must be greater than or equal to twenty and he can spend no more than ninety dollars so we have 2.5x plus 6y must be less than equal to 90.